you double anything. apple, please. Double apple. Which one do you want? Uh, should I just share with you? We'll get uh, two double apple. Two double you want one too? No, he oh, doesn't. We'll share, we'll share with him. Okay, two double apple. Come. Come on, Waze. Oh, then sit here. Uh, you don't want to just sit. You don't want to just uh, sit on these two. But he, the camera angle is bad. So just sit here. Oh. Sit, pretty sit here. But then I get the back of your head. I'll, I'll turn my chair. Did you sit next to Drake? Yeah. And I'll get a sparkling water and a double espresso. You want a water? You should drink some water. We'll get uh, uh, three waters too. Three regular still one, waters. Yeah. One sparkling. Yes. One double espresso. Yes. Come on. Double apple is the best. Where's Aki Amen? He, bro, he left. He was here earlier, Chad. He was here earlier. Yeah, so ask me anything, uh, Sneeko. Okay, first anything, I gotta... Anything. Uh, you know this guy, Wuma Thomas, says uh, yeah. Modin is yapping, made up hadiths. All right. First of all, can I just say something? Talk. The reason why I said Aisha was 19 is because we've got historical facts that prove she was 19, she was not nine years old when she got married. What are the facts? We've got it one, from the history events. It's impossible her, for her to be of being of uh, nine years old. She was 18 or 19. Okay. That's why we, not everything inside Bukhari is authentic. Right. There is a lot of authentic stuff, but not everything is authentic. Do you understand? Yeah. There's a lot of hadiths made up lies. Do you understand? Yeah. People have, uh, the, the people that were in government, they had money, they paid people to write hadiths. So, do you understand? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Should I tell you some crazy stuff? Tell me. I'm going to tell you not from what I believe. I'm just telling you from what the Shia and Sunnis believe. Oh, Both yeah. Shia and Sunni believe that the Quran has been taken from and put on. Uh, do you understand? Taken from what? That has been tampered with. No, no, we don't. Both Shia, no, no, I'm not. We want to, we don't believe that. No, no, I'm just saying both, from both sides they believe that. I'm not saying it's true. I'm saying this is what they believe. I've never heard that before. Tell me, I don't know anything else about Shia. What else, what else, um... What, what do Shia believe in besides, uh, I know I'm Ali. not Shia, I'm just Muslim, do you understand? Alhamdulillah. I'm, not, I'm just Muslim. So my, do you believe, uh, my, who granddad, the, my granddad, who was the last caliph after, who was the first caliph after Muhammad, peace be upon him? Okay, so basically, we believe that every single, because basically, the only person that will not have an allegiance to an evil dictatorship is Imam al-Mahdi. Mm -hmm. Imam al-Mahdi, he's the grandson, the 12th descendant of Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Imam al-Mahdi, he will come at a time when there will be bloodshed, men will be with men, women will be with women, there will be earthquakes, killings, will, people will start crying, and it will be like Armageddon, it will be like um, zombie, you know, Resident Evil. It will be like that. And then the Imam Mahdi will appear. Imam Mahdi, he's in hiding now. Yeah. So He's hiding. Yeah. Where? So when the Abbasi Khalifa tried to kill him, he went and disappeared. Just like Jesus, he was taken to heaven, and then he, he disappeared no, no, from no, no. So Imam al-Mahdi who is his mother? She is called the Malika. She is the daughter of the Caesar of Rome. Is it? And her, her, her she's the answer, the, the descendant of Matthew. Okay. That's his mother's side. Okay. So he's half Roman and he's half Arab. So his great grandfather is the Prophet Muhammad. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can you help me verify this stuff? Yeah. So the Imam al-Mahdi. They're the same cap. They're the same cap. Okay. He's sharing because you know there's different sects. So I'm just saying. Okay, okay, okay. Different things so, like allow him to share. Okay, so okay. Imam al-Mahdi, when he comes back, I'm not here to approve. Imam al-Mahdi, when he comes back, he's gonna have 313 companions. 313. These companions are gonna be like the lions that have come out of the jungle. Right. They will have hearts of, of iron. Okay. They are gonna be the commanders of Imam Mahdi, just like the Battle of Badr, there was 313, just like David and Goliath, there's 313. Right. When Imam Mahdi returns, these 300, he will, they will pledge allegiance to him in Mecca, mm -hmm. in, the, in front of the Kaaba. And then they, he will go and he will, uh, there will be a lot of wars. All right. A lot of, even the Turkey, the country Turkey, will fight against Imam al-Mahdi. Because when they asked Imam al-Sadiq, are the Turks with Imam al-Mahdi or against Imam al-Mahdi? So Imam al-Sadiq replied, this is in Al-Kafi, he said the Turkish will be with against Imam al-Mahdi, they will make alliances with the enemies. This is what Imam al-Sadiq says, I'm just giving you an example. This is what you're saying, right? Okay, uh, yeah, but like okay, I said, this right. is a different opinion. I'm just giving you the opinions of different sects. I'm not saying I'm Shia, I'm telling you what the Shias, be the Shias believe, do you understand? What do you believe? I believe, I'm not gonna lie, I believe that Imam Mahdi is coming back, and the slogan of the companions of Imam al-Mahdi will, will be that they want to take revenge for the blood of Imam Hussein. Okay. So, Imam al-Mahdi, he wants to take revenge for the blood of Imam al-Hussein because the hadith says, if the whole universe, the whole earth, everyone was sacrificed for the sake of Imam Hussein's blood, yeah. it would not compensate the blood of Imam Hussein. Okay. That's how important 
the re taking revenge for the blood of Imam Hussein. So when Imam Mahdi comes back, he's going to take revenge for the killings of Imam Hussein. So he's going to see people and then he's going to take their heads off. Mm -hmm. And they're going to say, but they didn't kill Imam Hussein. Why did you take his head off? Mm -hmm. The Imam will reply because he used to, he was happy with the killing of Imam Hussein. Mm -hmm. Just because he was happy of it, he gets killed for that. Do you understand? Have you heard this before, Warren? Because of his intention. I'm just telling you from the hadith. Have you heard this before? This, no? Is, no, this is in the hadiths in Al Kafi. So Imam Al Mahdi alayhi salam, he will the whole uh, Bismillah. The Imam Al Mahdi will will, will have a, a big army. Yeah. 313 people, just like David against Goliath, just like the Battle of Badr. So Imam Al Mahdi, then the name Jesus will come down, and he will tell Imam Mahdi to lead the prayers. Mm -hmm. He will say, "Oh, son of Fatima, lead the prayers." And then they will fight the Dajjal. The Dajjal is someone who's 70. Meters. With the one eye, yeah, I he's know, 70 yeah. meters tall. He's very tall. Okay. But from my understanding, when Imam Hadi comes, Isa they said the son is the the prayer. No, no, no. Isa will tell Jesus him, is not coming. Jesus is going to. Is, he, is Jesus the Messiah? Jesus is the, is going to return. Okay. When he is he the Messiah? He's the Messiah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so no, no, he's the uh, Nabi Isa will return and he will tell Imam Mahdi, he will say, Imam Mahdi, lead the prayers, O son of Fatima. Respect to Fatima to Zahra, the daughter of Prophet Muhammad, to respect Prophet Muhammad, he will tell Imam Mahdi to lead the prayers. Mm -hmm. And then they, they, obviously there will be wars. Before the return of Imam Mahdi, there will be a World, world War Three, which is going to happen soon. Soon? Yeah, Russia and Ukraine wow. and China. Okay. The, Israel and Palestine. Is no, no, right. Israel and Palestine has got nothing to do with World War Three. Nothing. The Middle East has nothing to do with World War Three. World War Three is going to be the the NATO countries, mm -hmm. uh, China, India, and these countries. Okay, but South you can Korea, see by proxy Russia, that's NATO. Yeah, yeah but so before the, 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 the World War Three has to happen first, then Imam Mahdi will re return. When is World War Three happening? Very soon, maybe one year or two years. One year, World War Three is happening. Yeah, and that's what, even the American general said in 2027. 100% we have to go war for Taiwan. What are the war signs of the end times? The sign of the end of the times is that people will respect their friends more than their parents. Salaamu Alaikum. Come, come. People will respect their friends more than their parents. Yeah? Yeah. Another sign of the end of times yeah. is that men will go with men, women will go with women. You know this already. And we see it around. Yeah. yeah and also, that. one of the signs of the end of time yeah. There will be a lot of divorce, a lot of... Men will behave like women, and women will behave like men. There you course, go, there you go. Of course. There's someone, I'm going to tell you something you didn't know. Chat to me. This is information no one will ever speak to you about. Yes. There's a man called the Sufyani. Yeah. He's from the descendant of Abu Sufyan. Mm -hmm. Abu Sufyan was the father of, of, grandfather of Yazid. Mm -hmm. One, two. He's cooking, he's cooking. Don't forget. So this man, he's going to come. And he's going to say, he's going to fight Imam al he's, he's, I don't want to say, should I say? I don't say, 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 it, say, it, say it, yes. Okay, the Sufyani is a man, he's basically like worse than ISIS. He's the descendant of, of, of Muawi Abu Sufyan. He's called the Sufyani. He hates Imam al Mahdi and he hates anyone that's descendant from the Prophet Muhammad, Imam, like the, 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 the lovers of Imam Ali, for example. He even gets the little kids and he boils them in, in a pot. And they say, why are you boiling us in hot water and killing us? He said, because you, lo you love Imam Ali. Because mm -hmm. he hates Imam Ali. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So the Sufyani, he's going to come from Syria or, or Jordan very soon. He's going to have a, his eye is going to be like one eye. He's going to have freckles on his face. He's going to be a giant. He's going to have the scariest face ever. Mm -hmm. And he's going to, anyone who's called Muhammad, Hassan, Hussein, Fatima, Khadija, Zainab, Ruqayya, he will, he will kill them. Even if, the, all the little kids, everyone. He's going to kill everyone. Every, no, that loves uh, Imam Ali. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? About the Kalbuna. Huh? Kalbuna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a crazy war soon. There's going to be... Uh, and then Imam Mahdi is going to come and kill this man. He's what called is, the Sufyan. Right okay, Google it right now. I was, I was looking at the martial arts. Google it right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right see, Everyone in chat's like, Warner's like, oh my God. He's Listen, just looking at the Google girl. the Sufyani right now. Google yeah. the Sufyani. Who's the Sufyani? Okay. Google it right now if you think I'm lying. By the way, the martial arts chat, that means... Uh, Mashallah, you a beautiful something. Guys, wallahi, listen, wallahi, I'm, wallahi. Not, I'm not Shia, I'm just Muslim. I'm just giving the opinions of the Shia and the Sunnis. I'm just telling you their opinions. I'm not Shia, I'm just Muslim. But I have to admit, when we prayed in Las Vegas... Yeah, the, the king of Morocco prays like this. Does he? The king of Dubai prays like this. The king of Emirates. No, no, no. Wait, when, we, when, we played, listen, when we went listen. in Sejur, you did something that I've never seen the, before. The, one second. The internet got mad. Wait, 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 one second. Chat, I know, chat. I know. Come, 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 come. On my Instagram. 
the, the king of Dubai prays like Shia. The king of Morocco prays like Shia. The, so many people pray like Shia. Why? Because in Medina, people used to pray. It doesn't matter about that Shia. What I'm